can I pray two more prayers for you please look at me we call it many names in the body of Christ others call it rise and fall others call it the absence of longevity of impact I don't care what you call it the spirit knows who I'm speaking about anything that makes lifting rising prosperity growth to be short-lived in your life that every time you see things they don't last that good things never stay in your hand in the name of Jesus I cry unto the God of my covenant this night that yoke is broken 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 Do you believe what you are receiving? Let me pray for you now. Please listen to this final prayer. Every time the devil cannot get you, he will find someone who means a lot to you and attack them because attacking those close to you, listen to what I'm saying, attacking those close to you will eventually affect you in every way as though it was your own personal attack. Hallelujah. So if the devil tries to throw the dart of sickness and because of your spiritual understanding, prophetic covering and all these systems of advantage, you escape from it. By the time it hits, respectfully speaking, your mother or father or husband or wife or children or those who mean close to you, there is a way that Satan promotes generational poverty by handpicking all the destiny helpers and killing them. Is it not in your Bible that when a deliverer was born, Every other child died like that. Even Jesus. Mass destruction is Satan's activity. The Bible calls him a murderer right from beginning. Killing does not mean anything to the devil. He can use men, structures, situations to kill good things. John 10.10 10, The thief cometh not but for to steal, to kill and to destroy. He says, but I am come that ye may have life and have it more abundantly. I want to cover all those connected to you. And if you love them, please open up your heart to receive this. Because the error of hearing bad news from people around you that troubles your faith and troubles your confidence, we must stand in prayer believing that there is a God. He said, as for me and my house, not me alone, me and my house, I decree and declare over your life in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God as god has shielded and protected you i extend the same covering to your loved ones i extend the same covering to your loved ones i extend the same covering to your loved ones there shall be no loss there shall be no death the west star will not come near your habitation in the name of jesus and I pray for everyone here who came here believing God for a healing miracle. Please listen. I want to give one command. You can always have the time to testify. But I want to pray. I don't know where you are, but in one minute, just place your hand where you are trusting God for a miracle. You had the testimony of the gentleman. Don't go back and allow what you tolerate will grow. What you tolerate and give excuses for will continually multiply. Are we together now when satan came and arranged for the killing of james the church kept quiet and the bible says they went further they proceeded further to apprehend peter but the church became angry in acts chapter 12 and verse 5 the bible says but prayer was made unto god of the church unto god for him the church said no we will not allow this happen again and there was an intervention Ah, no. Every spirit that is not of God must live this night. <laughs> Apostle, how will I know the spirit has left? Because the storm will no longer be there. <laughs> when Jesus rebuked the wind, then he spoke to the office situation. Then he spoke to the marriage situation. Then he spoke to the health situation and said, Shalom, be still. But not without rebuking the wind. 
now let me pray over your body in the name of Jesus every infirmity roaming around any part of your body failed or failing organs malfunctioning organs organs that have been cut out maybe by surgical procedures deformed organs blood conditions hearing seeing problems mobility problems growth problems reproductory problems it doesn't matter in what form and fashion it has come in the name of jesus the son of the living god i bring the ministry of life now i bring the ministry of life now by the spirit of the living god life into your body be healed right now in jesus name let your blood be cleansed now in jesus name genotypes change for good now every communicable disease in your body every disease that has come through the blood hiv and uh, any hepatitis it doesn't matter what name and what form i declare it leaves your body now in jesus name <laughs> failing kidneys failing heart failing liver failing organs all kinds of problems in the name of jesus i bring you the life and the power of jesus be healed right now to the tiniest and even the silliest of all conditions if it was not so in the beginning let it be restored let it be restored there is a gentleman when you go to ease yourself you are easing out blood easing out blood in the name of jesus i'm praying for you that satanic thing that gentleman is in this place the lord just showed me that person in the name of jesus you are healed now help him in the name of jesus christ there is someone your 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 lady your right breast you know is beginning to grow unusually that is a demonic case i don't want to mention anything that disturbs you but this is some kind of growth that we need to rebuke because with what i'm seeing it is it is cancer just looking for your body in the name of jesus i don't know who that person is the same way it entered your body let it live now the same way it came into your body let it live now there is a gentleman you are you are walking you walk well but you are you feel a lot of pains around your knee very severe pains around your knee that person the lord is healing you right now because i'm seeing that this thing is is, is like a symptom of arthritis the hand of the lord is upon you right now for sake of time those who are in front here every evil spirit foul devil that has followed them here by the blood of the eternal covenant i command these spirits out you go off you go never to return in the name of jesus christ and everything you have taken from them their families their loved ones let there be a restoration in the name of jesus christ i just heard in my spirit good news i had in my spirit good news let me prophesy good news good news in the morning good news in the afternoon good news in the night good news one more time in the morning good news in the afternoon good news in the night good news good news means no more tears good news means no more sorrow good news means the pain of yesterday has gone with yesterday in the name of jesus what are you doing oh apostle i mean this and that and that all right let's pray some of you have, have received calls i just call you i sometimes i don't even know you you don't ask how i got your phone number i just call you and i say let's pray in the name of jesus a and b i see the numbers in dreams and the lord says call this person there is an attack over their family 
I just call you and off the phone. You don't even know what happens. Some of you, when the devil is about to buffet you, the Lord uses my face in your dreams. Here he comes, shows up. I tell you, if you see me in your dreams, start dancing. I'm not a herbalist. Believe me, it's a mystery. God used the voice of Eli to speak to Samuel. God uses a grace you honor that represents a ranking that can solve your problem. So when he shows up, he shows up with his covenant of possibilities. It's not Joshua Selman. It's the lamb, the lamb himself, using the face of his tavern. Listen, don't mind people who preach nonsense around. Say men of God use charm and have a to man. Do it if it's easy to, to make charm. There are men of God I have prayed to command certain miracles in this ministry. And while I went to sleep, certain faces that I respect with respect to the dimension of the desire. Here they come, they walk up. Just like I come to you too. They come and sometimes they just speak a word. Sometimes they lay hands. When you get up, don't just laugh. You get up and receive it. This is where you meet it. You just get up and say, I saw apostle. And you are smiling. You missed your miracle. That's the time to dance. Shada Katai. It's done. It's over. It's done. It's over. It's done. It's over. Listen. Before this ministry entered a supernatural dimension of prosperity, I remember I was sitting. I've been praying. I'm practicing this principle. But I knew that it, it's like there was a resistance. A resistance. And that night, I prayed my heart out as I was sleeping. All of a sudden, I was preaching somewhere in Canaan land. And Bishop Oyeriko was sitting down. David Piome was sitting down close to him. Two men, I respect their voice when it comes to the aspect of kingdom wealth, territorial wealth. And they were watching me, just like supervising a student on project. I was standing on the stage. I could not stand very well. It was shaking. And afterwards, I came. And Oyeriko asked me to empty everything in my pocket on his feet. When I dropped it, he said, no, there's still some more. I put my hand, I dropped everything, and he laid hands on me. Somebody took me to a room, I opened the room, and I saw dollars, I saw pounds, I saw naira. That was the beginning. When that happened, Koinonia exploded like a charm. There are mysteries. You don't have spiritual intelligence, you will never rise. Never rise. Some of you were this close to your breakthrough, but you did not know what you saw. You thought you had a dream. Only if you dance for 10 minutes, that would have been the end of that problem. But you did not know. Help those under the anointing. You will. this year I was praying and all of a sudden I was caught up in a vision and then when I was caught up in a vision the second time I would see Papa Adeboe in an encounter not a dream not lying down to dream the first one it was a pastor's conference and then they were serving food in a tray and I was sitting and he pointed me he said come and then I came, I saw pastors looking at me with anger and envy. And he said, sit down here, let's eat. I said, I can never do this. I've been trained to respect. He said, I said, sit down and let's eat. Two of us sat on the ground and we were eating. When I got up then, January, this one happened like 10 years ago. January this year, when God declared that it's the year of trial, I had that encounter again. He finished doing something and then I came to him. And I can't remember what happened. And then he, I, I, have the, I have it written down. And he looked at me and said, Okay, I'm going to pray for you. And he started praying and he was laying hands and he was singing a song in Yoruba. Quietly, just laid hands on me and he was singing a song. And then when he finished singing, he says, Now, I open up the gates. You know how he's just talking. I open up the gates of influence to you. Walk in it. And he told me, Baba, like you tell somebody in Yoruba, go, you can go, I've opened the room. Brothers and sisters, this is how, this is what we call encounters. You don't know it. 
how many encounters have you had and you missed it because if it is not perfected in the realm of the spirit the same way you call somebody and shoot an arrow in the spirit and leave him quietly then in the physical two weeks he's still moving alive but he's dead he doesn't even know he's dead you see him and greet him how are you he said in two weeks is my birthday and you laugh at him you killed him two weeks ago yet he's still walking and one day anything can kill him because he's already dead anything that's the same way when you are blessed in the spirit anything can prosper you it's not about what you do it's about something that has entered you already you are the universe you won't shed it in you will we'll continue next week I have to teach you something about the operation of witchcraft there are only three ways witchcraft operates. I will be teaching you next week. And then I will teach you the last point on how to command victory. But someone has learned something tonight. You have been wasting breakthroughs. You finish koinonia and sleep. You finish your prayer and sleep. And things happen in the realm of the spirit. You get up and you don't permit them to happen in this realm. Don't you know a man must speak for things to manifest? You saw your marriage, but you got up and you were shy, you were embarrassed. And you just laughed and said, ah, don't mock me. I'm not talking about these demonic things where you are moving around, no. Listen, it's not every encounter in the spirit that is demonic. Some things God is telling you, the season has come. Especially when it's, it is emphasized. Two is the number of emphasis. Three is a shorty, is a witness that God has decreed that it should happen. But it never happens. Never happens. Because there is no spiritual intelligence. I don't waste opportunities in my life. The greatest of my battles are fought in the realm of the spirit. The realm of the spirit. The realm of the spirit. That's what happens. You've not commanded victory in the realm of the spirit. You are pasting posters everywhere. Come for my meeting. You are just wasting your money for nothing. Believe me. The victory. Miracle service is always finished before Friday. Koinonia is always finished before Friday. You don't come and finish Koinonia here. It's risky. Risky. You don't come for miracle service and stand on stage and say, it's time to be healed. Foolishness. That's not, it doesn't happen that way. From the foundations of the earth, the lamb was slain. Then it was possible for him to be slain physically. If he were not slain in the realm of the spirit, he couldn't be, be, be saved physically. It always happens first in the realm of the spirit. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. I, I feel, I feel, I feel the air of some warfare prayers. I, I just sense in my spirit that we need to pray some warfare prayers. Listen. In the next five minutes, I know our time is up. But in the next five minutes, I release my faith with you and I want us to pray. We are going to force doors to open you are not praying to edify your spirit no every pending breakthrough it has been declared it's my season of triumph i have seen it in dreams the lord has confirmed it i should be blessed i'm not asking i know it it is a season it's the season of encounter with the anointing. I cannot remain at this level of grace. There is a dimension. I have seen it. He gave me a witness. He gave me a witness. It's my season of breakthrough. It will not happen like before. Now I have intelligence. I will not waste the dream. I will not waste the vision. I now understand. I now discern. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken.
stop bad news. I stop bad news. It's not a suggestion. It's not a negotiation. You have declared it's my year of trial. I stop bad news. Lift your voice and stop it. Lift your voice and stop it. Shake it never Tired of bad news. Tired of disappointment. I stop it. I stop it. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Have respect for God to the covenant. I stop bad news. is a word for someone never let anything to chance if anything will happen you will make it happen hallelujah lift your hands i want to pray for you never believed a prophetic word for any year believe it now believe it now thanks be to God who causes us always always to triumph I pray for you in the name of Jesus every vision you have seen that represent what God wants to happen in your life now and was hijacked by any power in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God I command the expectation of God for you as revealed to you I command it to manifest now I command it to manifest now I command it to manifest now. Hear me. Any human agent that partnered with darkness to hijack any aspect of your destiny, let the fire of vengeance. You see, we've been praying vengeance here in the last two weeks. Just follow what God is doing. I command it that has stolen anything from your life, from your family and brought to disaster. May the God of vengeance arise in judgment this night. May the God of vengeance arise in judgment this night. Whoever will not let you go must go for you. Whoever will not let your destiny go must go for you. I release vengeance. The fire of vengeance. The fire of vengeance. The fire of vengeance. The fire of vengeance. The 
I decree and declare every power that closed your means of breakthrough in the name of Jesus I declare tonight let there be a warfare in the heavenly we deploy angels we deploy angels the angels of God we declare are they not ministering spirit sent to minister to the earth of salvation angels we release you war a good warfare release destiny release life release favor release breakthrough in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. I decree and declare whoever is behind God's schedule for him, God planned that by now there are some realms of anointing you should have entered, some realms of breakthrough. Anyone behind schedule here, I want to push you by prophecy. So take a bow. Pay attention. There is a grace for speed. I decree it. In the name of Jesus, upon everyone here, behind Shadul, in the name of Jesus, I command you, catch up now, catch up now, financially, catch up now, spiritually, catch up now. Anyone called Barry, anyone the devil has vowed that will not marry, anyone the devil has vowed to always have disappointment, I prophesy again, catch up now, catch up now. Listen, I don't know the trends that held your legs, but in the name of Jesus, by the fire that Elijah commanded from heaven, I decree and declare, may those chains break now. May those chains break now. May those chains break now. I pray for you, this night as you sleep, may my God show you a sign. God is a God of signs. God is a God of signs. My God, show your people signs. Signs of their victory. Signs of their breakthrough. This is how to receive your portion. Anything less than this, you are playing games. This is how you receive what belongs to you. The devil will not give it willingly. No. Whoever is yet to have at least one solid testimony from January 2017, in spite of the fact that God has declared, you clap for others. Hold on. I'm not just saying maybe a casual. There is no one here who has not seen the faithfulness of God but I'm saying there is nothing striking you cannot honestly say from January 1 till today 10th of March nothing constructive has happened in your life in the name of Jesus except I be not sent of God in the name of Jesus according to the election of God's mercy and grace I prophesy to you in seven days from today in the name of the Lord God who called me I command breakthrough, 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 return with testimony, strange breakthrough. Help that lady, strange breakthrough, the doors must open, hear me, tomorrow Koinonia, will be six by his grace we are not doing anything online leave all those things listen but I want to place a prophecy over tomorrow listen every time people celebrate birthdays they reenact what brought the birthday correct 
if a king is celebrating birthday he releases prisoners to prove he's a king i want to place a prophetic word Malatos I'm not speaking to you by faith. I'm speaking to you by a covenant. By a covenant. I'm not asking you whether you believe me or not. I'm just asking you to listen to me. The Lord that appeared to me. The one who revealed to me that I saw a generation crying. I saw men languishing. The one who gave me his presence as a gift and brought the angel of his presence to walk with me. I invoke the covenant of my altar that God cut a bread cutter. I invoke the covenant of my altar. Oh God alive. Answer by the covenant I have with you. Tomorrow 11th March, shake the nation. Change your people in the name of Jesus. I place my covenant with God upon your life. Let there be strange results tomorrow. Strange results tomorrow. Strange results tomorrow. Strange results tomorrow. All over. Hear me. All those connected to this grace. All those connected to this ministry. Following online. I'm prophesying from 12 midnight tonight until 12 midnight tomorrow. I declare it a day of strange miracles, strange encounters, strange miracles, strange restoration, strange impartation. I declare an unusual release of angels over Zaria. I command it from 12 midnight today. I speak as an apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ. 12 midnight this night. I command unusual angelic activities, confirming the mandate, confirming the mantle. Listen. Listen. This is what I want you to do for me. Please listen. This is what I want you to do for me. From 12 midnight tonight, anytime until 12 midnight tomorrow, I want you to pray. Take advantage of this unusual open heavens. I want you to ask whatever it is when you go back. Any long standing case. I want you, this is not by faith. Remember, this is a covenant. It is not, I'm not just saying you are trying. I'm not asking you whether you believe or not. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Use these 24 hours and watch something happen to your life that would never have happened. I declare it as the word of the Lord. I place the word of the Lord upon this prophecy. It must happen. To him who sits on the throne and unto the Lamb. To him who sits on the throne and unto the Lamb. To him who sits on the throne and unto the Lamb. Listen, no sickness survives tomorrow in anyone's body you have never seen me hospitalized you have never seen three put on my hand you have never seen me fail to come from koinonia because i was down i declare no sickness dwells in anyone's body tomorrow hear me whoever will continue to hold your destiny and will not let you go. There is just about two hours. I declare, if they enter tomorrow, holding your destiny, I stand and I command the earth to take their body. I say this in the name of Jesus. Anyone who will not let you go, I say it again. If they cross 12 midnight, this night, I command the earth to take their body. Put your hands and give it to me. We're out of time.
Wisdom tells you what to do. Understanding tells you how to do it. Wisdom tells you to cook. Understanding tells you how to combine the ingredients. Wisdom tells you you have a great destiny. Understanding tells you the path to take. That's why he says thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. There are similar rules but they are not the same. A light to your path. Direction. A lamp to your feet. Guidance. A light to your path. Direction. Listen. If you come and you are looking for direction. I will tell you okay. Go left. You are going to see two roads. Follow the left one. Turn. That's direction. But when I tell you let's walk together. And we get to a place. I say okay. Move with me. That's guidance. The word of God both guides and directs. Thy word is a lamp to my feet. And a light to my path. So God shows you where to go. And guides you on how to go there. Make sure that you understand what to do. Before you start doing it. Don't just say wow. This tight. Let Okay. Since prosperity is tied to tithing. And all of that. Let me just tight. You may be taking the action. But is it based on knowledge and understanding? You can frown your face and come and squeeze an envelope and stand as if you are going to stone God with money and drop it in the offering basket as though you are bribing a man and go back and find out that your heaven still remain closed. Because it is not the substance, it is the understanding. The insight is what gives life to the action. Are you seeing that now? So you are praying for the sick and you are saying in the name of Jesus be healed. But you think he's just about speaking. So you are saying be healed, be healed, be healed. And the person is not being healed. You are still mentioning the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus be healed, be anointed. The power of God will touch people right now. Everybody, you ask them to shout everything. I receive, shout Jesus, shout fire, shout water, shout fire. And everybody is just looking at you like a rock. I say, you are such a bunch of unbelievers here. You are, you are trying to insult the grace of God on my life. Then you start making reference to meetings. That's what people do when they don't have results. Is it not you that came in 1991? Remember that meeting? <laughs> Bible says, Jesus the same yesterday, today, and forever. Don't bring Jesus of yesterday for us. We want to see the Jesus of today. Alive and strong. But that's what happens to people. Let your action be based on knowledge. Knowledge. Okay, what is the revelation behind tithing? Why does tithing open the heavens? Wow! Tithing is my spiritual circumcision. Tithing is my proof of obedience. Tithing is not a proof of love. Giving is a proof of love. Tithing is a proof of obedience. Tithing does not mean you love God. Tithing just means you are obedient. Because an exact figure was given to you. So I begin to study it. I see those who gave their tithe and the results that followed and then light breaks out. And now I package my tithe with understanding. So I come and while I'm singing, I'm in the worship team and I'm trusting that every time I lift up my voice, people get blessed. I know that it's not just a nice voice and beautiful melodies. I go and begin to study. What is it about music and worship? And I begin to find out, ah, this is how it works. Now, on the strength of that understanding, when I lift a song, I'm lifting that song from an understanding. That understanding will allow a dimension of the grace of God to flow through that song. And you find out that people become a reflection of your understanding. Never do things because people are doing it. Spend time to seek knowledge and understanding. Then you take an enlightened step. Take an enlightened step. Everybody's doing business to prosper. You too, you go and do it. No. What is the purpose of it? Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18. The Bible talks about those who are alienated. Alienated from the life of God through ignorance. Alienated from the life of God through ignorance. Through ignorance. Through ignorance. Are we together? Yeah. There are people who, although they are supposed to be walking in certain realities, they exempted themselves through ignorance. B. 
being alienated from the life of God and the Bible says through ignorance I am always passionate about a revelation of the areas where I do not know I'm not too proud to learn I always want to know what am I doing wrongly what when I find knowledge that is relevant to me I jump at it with all my heart I know you have been taking action but is it based on insight is it based on revelation you saw people anointing themselves you went to go and buy Goya oil and you brought it and all of a sudden you opened a bottle and drank small rub small on your head rub small on your hand went to sleep and his spirit sat on you 10 minutes later and he said my god with this oil yes with the oil you carried your bible and put it under your bed and while you slept you had the worst dream even the day you slept watching a film you had a good dream but now you put your bible because it's not in actions revelation there are too many people who don't pay attention to revelation revelation Ephesians 1 17 Paul speaking says for this cause I Paul bow my knees to the father of our Lord Jesus Christ that he may grant unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him your eyes being enlightened or flooded with light that you may know come into a comprehension come into an understanding of a reality it is important for us to know I like it to say in the name of Jesus Lord take away ignorance from my life say it again take away ignorance you know let me tell you something the little understanding that God has given me about certain kingdom realities the mysteries of the kingdom I watch how people break these laws every day and want to succeed and want to do well I watch pastors break the laws that bring success in ministry I watch business people break the laws that bring success in business I watch leaders break the laws that bring uncommon results I watch people who want the anointing break almost every law that brings it you see enlightenment is very powerful because when you are moving in darkness you don't even know and so you keep trying this is not working but I fasted 30 days I thought at the end of 30 days an angel will appear to me and say from this day I give you a mantle receive it you collect it and, and nothing happens and yet you see how effortless certain people move in the grace and the power of God as though God owes them his presence and power you've got to find out it's not just in saying the power of God is moving it's not just in saying this and that and that no as I passed Lagos about an expressway today, I saw the predictability of the results of the people. You know, most of those fathers of faith came from the same background. The same background. The Apostolic Church, Aladura, CAC, that background. Regardless of what they have now. So, certain foundational things were functional, regardless of what the ministry is. Crowds, space they caught a revelation of space they don't buy small things they buy kilometers not plots and expand it i've had the privilege to see photos of some of these ministries in some nations that are racist nations yet they give them land it's a grace now they may not have as much revelation as you do but sadly they have more results which do you prefer the end of everything brothers and sisters is results herein is my father glorified that you bear much fruit not that you learn about plants that you bear much fruit you can learn all you can about plants but if you cannot bear fruit you are not glorifying the father your action must be based on light and that means you must contend for light let me tell you how I study I write out the areas of my life where I have seen some measure of result and I celebrate and thank God then I write out the areas in my life where I'm trusting God for results or greater results and then I begin to study from the Word of God and secondly from the life of those who have commendably produced results in that area 
That's how you get results. That's how you get results. I'm not going to study somebody who is not working in the anointing if I want to work in the anointing. I will love the person. I will respect the, part, the fact that he is part of the body. But he has nothing to teach me about the anointing. He's not working in his life. So I will find somebody who represents the hand of God to the degree to which I desire. And humbly study to the degree to which I desire. There may be many of them. But I must find the one that reflects my expectation. Then I study. Follow them, the Bible says, who through faith and patience obtain, not are obtaining. They have obtained the promise. Hallelujah. Run away from ignorance. Run away from it. Start acting blindly. Don't just act emotionally. The moment you panic, blood of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire. Honestly, Holy Ghost fire. Hey, these demons you are hearing, Holy Ghost. You don't know what the fire of the Holy Ghost does. You don't even know whether it exists. You don't even know whether the blood of Jesus is there and what it should have. So you are just praying, Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Blood of Jesus. If you never, I, I refuse to believe it, then you start crying. Even you, you know you didn't believe what you said. Because at the end, you just stop, stop praying and say, God, is this how you leave me? May people of confidence arise who know you see when you are walking by light you will not stop regardless of the result because you know the result will show it's like driving right when you are driving somewhere you don't get tired after five minutes and say we've not reached let me park this car you keep moving why because you know you will get there when people start practicing certain things and stop it is because they don't have a revelation that that is the key for every door, there is a key. You have a bunch of keys in your hands. The Bible calls them the keys of the kingdom. You have to painstakingly find out which one opens which door. I can have a bunch of keys in my hands. That does not mean the doors will open. How many of you have different doors in your homes that have different keys? You can see one small and then another one big. The keys don't replace themselves. You have to know which one. There are certain padlocks, you open them in a very interesting way. There are others you can close your eyes and just shoot it and turn and it opens. All in the same house. So there are things you can just come and effortlessly solve. But there are others you have to look at it with the eyes of the Spirit. Ah, this is what I do. This is what I do. And I get results. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. May the days of shadow boxing come to an end in your life. Efforts that are not done out of knowledge, efforts that are not done out of out of accuracy, you will begin to be circumspect, and every action of yours will start producing strange results in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's take two more and then we'll pray. Is God speaking to you? Thank you, Jesus. Number what? Number four. Evil still exists. Write it down. Evil. The reality of darkness. The depravity. The existence of wickedness. The existence of darkness. Is a revelation that you must comprehend. If you want to walk in victory. Walk in triumph and have spiritual intelligence listen it is not only weakness it is foolishness to ignore the presence of evil evil still exists first john chapter 5 verse 19 let's turn there write it down and turn there. first john 5 19 Jesus, thank you. Can you play the guitar too for me, Binga? Just follow him and play. God wants to do something in this place. First John 5 19. It says, And we know that we are of God 
and then he says apologies for the projection issues I'll just read from here you listen to me carefully and we know that we are of God then he says and the whole world lieth it didn't say receives visitation the world is lying like you say this pulpit is lying on a, a rock a carpet then he says the whole world lieth where the wickedness listen I want to give you spiritual intelligence the condition to be a victim of any attack from the devil is that you are born not that you do anything wrong or right the moment you find yourself on this side of God's kingdom immediately there is a contention every human being on earth is a potential battle axe satan will not wait till you become one he starts attacking you from birth. he knows that everyone born of a woman carries the potential to be used by god are we together yeah. apostle what have i done who did i offend have you heard that that culture driven terminology this one that demons are against me nothing works in my life i didn't offend anybody you don't have to there is a story that predates your existence listen to the teaching pulling down strongholds and a number of other teachings warfare series i teach there very extensively on the reality of wickedness many of us trivialize it until it attacks you no the bible says woe to them who are at ease in zion scripture clearly tells us that this world living is a warfare living is a warfare i think it's dr paul Enche who says that the world is a battlefield not a playing ground it's a real battlefield just start getting blessed and watch people hate you for doing nothing you are trying to show you have money who did you offend nobody lie down and sleep and let someone not be able to sleep he wakes up and is angry why are you sleeping this is the world we live in you have a neighbor who looks at you and sees you dancing giving glory to god and he says all these arrogant people i will deal with you that begins attacks in your life please listen to me i'm sharing with, i'm giving you spiritual intelligence I have factored in my life that every day of my life until Jesus comes somebody somewhere hates me enough to want to see me dead somebody somewhere hates me enough to go only God knows how many people are in a herbal shrine now calling my name while I'm sleeping only God knows how many people are saying let him have a plane crash this year let him have a car accident this year so that all the mouth is making about the word of god so that people will be discouraged the problem is never the enemies the problem is you but to ignore their presence is a trust and god bless you thank you for staying soon with us on this platform reflector hope tv we bring to you the accurate counsel of the lord and like Jesus rightfully speaking in the revelation of himself he said I am Alpha Omega I am beginning I am the end it is with great joy that we bring to you the revelation of Jesus that he is at the beginning and he is at the ending you will still see him at the ending of your life don't give up your life on everything he is the beginner of your work with the Lord. He is the beginning of that business. He is the ending of that business. Just put him into the business and see how it blows up. Put him into that ministry. Put him into that finance of yours. Put him into that family of yours and see everything turns around. From the beginning to the end of everything your hand can find to do, Jesus, let him be the lead. Jesus, let him be the advocate. Jesus, let him be the forerunner and see everything changes in the twinkle of an eye on this platform with God's servant Apostle Joshua Selman the word of God surely will work in your life do well to subscribe and stay tuned with us God bless you